you are aware, aware of the marijuana solution. First off, what's your plan to do with the cannabis cartels? I, I've read the bill, but most people haven't, so that's why we've had you on. Right. So, uh, as your listeners probably currently know, there's there's seven families that are essentially authorized to uh, produce medical marijuana in Florida, and they have to be vertically integrated, which means they can, they not only do they have to be good at growing, they have to be good at processing, selling, as well at the retail level. So they have to be they have to own the entire business structure um, up and down the up and down the marketplace, uh, and uh, and that is essentially going to create high prices, monopolies, um, where only one or two uh, growers or, or, you know, these medical marijuana companies operate in certain jurisdictions, which will lead to higher prices and less consumer access. And so we think that's an absolutely wrong model. Uh, it was originally designed for a 1,000 sick kids with epilepsy, the one the first bill was first proposed uh, a few years ago. And when you have potentially hundreds of thousands of patients now, that model doesn't work. And our argument is pretty simple that, that we should decentralize that market. We should not, we should not require vertical integration. I mean, we should prohibit it, but we shouldn't require people to be vertically integrated. And, uh, we should let good growers grow, good processors process, and good retailers do retail. And so how does the licensing structure that you're proposing work? Uh, is it going to be kind of open-ended? Uh, will there be a cap? Um, does it tie into No, we don't, well, I don't think that you put, put caps on marketplaces. Uh, for the most part, it, we're, I mean, we have the, the only real cap that we have on our, on our, in our bill is that you can only have one medical marijuana license in a city per 25,000 residents. Uh, that's, this is to deal with the major concern from my constituents that, oh, we don't want to pot shop on every corner. So great. We'll, we'll limit it to one per 25. If a city wants zero, it can have zero, but it can't restrict delivery into their community. So for we think it's largely a delivered product to your home, your hospice, wherever you are. Um, and we think that's how we continue to provide a free and open market uh, for, for medical marijuana and, and, and provide access and, and keep prices low. Well. You are aware, aware of this marijuana solution.